Washington, D.C., where a supporter of the initiative, the mayor of Braddock, Pennsylvania's John Fetterman, standing by. Good morning. Thanks so much for being with us. Well, thank you so much for having me. Now, sir, it's very obvious the uh, benefits to this initiative, but the opponents say that now is not the time and the economic effects could be pretty bad. What would be your response to that? Well, I would just, uh, you know, ask your readers to not let somebody pit uh, uh, the environment against economic prosperity, because with this uh, cap plan, you know, we, we can have both. And, and to anyone that's concerned about cost, whether it's increased electric bills or what have you, it's like uh, the, the latest study out said it would raise maybe between 98 and 105 dollars a year. And it's like, what's the pr what's the current energy policy? You know, how's that treating everybody? And we all remember what it was like to fill up at the pump at four dollars and fifty cents a gallon and and at least us folks up in the northeast you know, every month uh, we, we wince during the winter when the, the natural gas bill comes so uh, we're already paying through the nose for energy and this is actually a way to create jobs and actually bring the cost of energy down over the long term well how could this affect uh, how would this actually go into place would it be a flat rate that, rate that they pay or would they pay for how much they actually release in the atmosphere well, the, 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 the key here is that the carbon outputs are going to be capped, and then we're going to allow the beauty uh, of the free market and, and enterprise to kind of uh, decide where those permits go. The more efficient produ producers will, will sell to the less efficient producers, and we're really going to unleash a lot of investment in, in green energy and, and entrepreneurship and ultimately get to the point where we're going to be able to sell these technologies to uh, China and India and other uh, industrial countries. And, and the reason why I'm so behind it is uh, my my town from where I'm from in, in southwestern Pennsylvania is kind of like the you know central castings you know bo you know really broken up steel town and w this is really going to be create a lot of blue collar jobs you guys down in Texas uh, the 250 tons of steel in every windmill with 8,000 moving parts that's going to create a lot of blue collar jobs and and a lot of windfall uh, presumably in, in your neck of the woods, if I understand my geography. So it, it's really like a win-win, not suggesting there won't be some costs involved, but we suspect that it will be lower, and, uh, it, and clearly the path we've been on hasn't been working. All right, very interesting information, and your geography is absolutely correct. We have plenty of wind out here, and wind turbines are popping up everywhere. Thanks so much for being with us this week. Well, well, thank you so much, and, and our website is uh, www.thecapsolution.org, and we'd be happy to get more information. But thank you so much for, for having me on this morning. Yeah, we appreciate your time. Thank you. Well, stay with us. Your